Folks, farmers across the nation are going green. Joining us this morning to discuss this important trend are Ali Reith from the American Dairy Association, Indiana, and Reagan Herr from the Indiana State Department of Agriculture. And I probably should start by correcting myself because this is nothing new. Farmers are the original sustainable recyclers, right? Absolutely. And we're here on behalf of Indiana's Family of Farmers, which is actually a group of all of the different agriculture groups together uh, representing our farmers because right now it's spring. Um, our farmers are a little bit busy, so Reagan's family is actually in the fields right now. Yes, my husband and I uh, farm corn, soybeans, and wheat in Boone County, and he is in the field today. Otherwise, I'm sure he would be here with us. Yeah. Um, let's talk specifically about dairy farmers for a moment. What are the things that happen at a dairy farm that come under that umbrella of sustainability. Absolutely, and such a great point you made earlier. This has kind of been going on in dairy farms for many, many years, decades, um, but there's always ways to improve and our dairy farmers are always looking for that. So we actually have an example here with us today. Uh, these are actually cow pots. So one way dairy farmers have found to reduce, reuse, and recycle what is made and what comes from the farm is this little pot right here. Um, I'd love you for you to take a smell for that real quick. Smell like anything to you? Yeah. It does not smell like manure. <laughs> it does not smell like manure, but that's actually what it is. This uh -huh. is made out of um, dried and kind of sanitized cow manure. Uh -huh. It's perfect for planting um, any of your plants. You can put them right in here, start seedlings. This will actually degrade into the ground, provide those nutrients from the manure into the ground as well. So we just brought a couple of samples for that today. Just some ingenuity from our dairy farmers. Um, this is a small dairy farm out in Connecticut, but here in Indiana, our dairy farmers are actually milking with robots. Uh, they're recycling the manure, and some of our dairy farms are actually plugged straight into their county power grids and provide power for their county and homes in their county uh, through the manure that's produced on the farm. And, and Reagan, let's 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 expand this and talk about th this ongoing philosophy of of sustainability and reusing on all farms. Absolutely, yeah. So Indiana's got 94,000 farmers, and their main goal is to keep their soil nutrient dense and healthy and their waterways clean um, to sustain them for generations, right? They want to pass that family farm down to their kids and their grandkids. So it's something that we've been doing for hundreds of years. Yeah. Um, and and that, that that's something that, that has to continue if we want to move forward, right? Absolutely. And farmers, um, you know, strive to do that every day. Last year, we planted 1.5 million acres of cover crops, which is a product that we're never going to harvest. Um, but farmers see value in spending the money to keep those nutrients in the field. And they also planted about 70,000 trees. Yeah. Um, and uh, truth be told, I have to confess, um, if these did smell like manure, it would, it would not bother this reporter. I mean, I, my, my grandpa was a, was a beef cattle farmer. Uh, ride horses, and I don't think manure is bad. I like the smell. It, it's nostalgic, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's probably because you've been in trail 